Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube channel. It's a girl funny long who back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing, and please continue to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to that will enable me to actually post reactions each and every day. So um thank you for all the support. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram, become friends with us, say hi, we'll say hi back. Oh, by the way, we'll go as funny and Jesse on Instagram and Facebook. Check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we actually um put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to um Hijab is not found in the Quran by Norman Ali Khan. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. So this is one email, right? This lady emails, it's a really long email about how she's read that the Quran never talks about covering the head, right? Now it's not, a, it's not a messed up thing necessarily, but she says, you know, I mean, I read the ayah and I read, you know, what, what it says in Surah number 24, Surah An-Nur has the ayah, right? And it uses the word uh, khimar, which is for veil. And I looked up the dictionary and it says things like a shawl or cover. So it doesn't never ever says anything about covering the head, right? And I start thinking, is this a common like confusion or is this just this one time email? Yeah. So I do a little digging and it's actually extremely common. Like a lot of people think that the ayah is not talking about covering wow. the head at all, right? So it's a really common confusion. I didn't know. So like one of the things I really want to do is kind of address this in a like a sane way. like. I'm not interested in getting somebody to wear hijab. That's yeah. their decision, right? Uh, but at the end of the day, if something's being said about the Quran, we have to be honest. Mm -hmm. And what is it saying? And you know, there are people who would like it to mean something it doesn't mean. Mm -hmm. And then there are people who are genuinely, they just don't know any better and they're confused about the subject. And I, I'd like to assume that anybody who has this confusion, they just don't know any better or whatever they read convinced them of this. I don't like to think that they're, uh, like they mean evil or they're trying to have, like an agenda. Uh, have an agenda or like a misguided opinion or whatever. So the, the, the cool thing about Arabic, right, is that for covering the head, just covering the head, there's like nine different words. Wow. And one of them is khimar, mm -hmm. right? So you have, you know, miqna'a and mighfar and this is all these bunch of words. And that depends on if it covers the head and if it's up to here, if it's up to here, if it's up to here. Depending each on the length, each has its own wow. kind of meaning. And in old Arabic, the word khimar, which is used in the Quran. Now, I mean, you and I know commonly we use the word hijab. Yeah. Hijab is actually not a word for head cover. It's actually a word for barrier. Like a wall could be a hijab. A curtain could be a hijab. Okay, so it just kind of got coined as hijab, but that's not the word in the Quran, nor the Arabs ever used it like that. Okay, so the word is khimar. And the cool thing about it is the word itself includes the meaning of covering the head. Like the head and then some. And it's it's used before Islam. The men used to have khimar too. One of the names for their turban, if it was extra long and it went down to like almost middle of the belly, the men used to call it khimar too. And then, it's so cool. They, the, the women had like different fashions or whatever. And one of the things the women before Islam used to do is they used to have this bandana type thing that they would tie in the back with their ponytails and it would go to the middle of their back. So they wouldn't drip it in front, they drip it, they throw it behind them. That was also called a khimar. Mm -hmm. Now the Quran says they should take their khimar and throw it in front of them, mm. before their chest. In other words, the only difference is keep the khimar, but just use it, the, the head cover is already included in the meaning, just use it to cover the front also. Mm. Right, and it should be like a certain length. That's the meaning. And somebody argues like, no, 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 but the word khimar, it, it just means shawl, it doesn't mean like head cover, whatever. It's really cool. That you, you, are you familiar with the word khamar? You know what that means? Uh, is that alcohol? Alcohol, yeah. wine. You know why it's called khamar? No. Because it messes with your head. Uh, block khamara your blocks your judgment. Khamara literally means to cover. And it's called khamar because it you know, messes with your mind. It creates a block in your mind. Mm -hmm. You're, it's almost as though your head is covered up with something. When you take khamar. <laughs> it's like it's part of the meaning of the word. We're not even talking about the Islamic meaning. We're talking about Arabic itself. Back in the day, they'd see some horses are funny colors, like from the neck onwards, it's white and the rest of it's brown or something like that. Yeah. They would say that horse is mutakhamid. It's got, it's like it has a khimar on. Oh. <laughs> so 
Like, how are you going to explain that as the, the, the horses don't have shawls on? Yeah. <laughs> it's just the length. It's just the length, it's and it's covering its head, and it's up to its neck, and all the way down. So that's why they're calling it a khimar, you know? So, like, it's already in the language, but it's so unfortunate that when they say, okay, they should draw their veils over their chest. That's what some translations say, draw the veils over the chest. Well, a veil could be a shawl, it could be any kind of cloth. And it doesn't really include head covering, right? But the Arabic word does. And so I, I feel like a lot of this conf confusion comes because uh, people don't pay attention enough to the original language and how a lot of translations, they oversimplify the issue and we start coming to drastic conclusions. But I think that even if you talk about all of this, like somebody gets upset and says, who are you to tell me that I have to wear this or that? I'm not anybody to tell you anything. But what I'd like to at least for people to know is, okay, here's what the word is in the Quran and here's what it means and here's how we can understand it. If you think there's better evidence, if you think there's another meaning in Arabic, then maybe you should tell me about it. So, I don't know, maybe I should do a talk about that someday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>